Greetings viewers and welcome to the ultimate adventures of Lyle, where my prowler, Lyle, attempts to hunt every large monster in Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. In the last episode, we hunted the Valstrax, and in this episode, episode 2, we're going into round 2 against the two-headed carcass, Nakarkos. That's right. This will uh, hopefully be the only time where a monster gets two episodes. Um, one in the previous Adventures of Lyle, where Lyle was able to repel its first form. And now, in this episode, where we settle the score once and for all. And finally slay it in its true form. So without further ado, let's go. Hellfire Star. <laughs> I just couldn't leave things as it was before. I, I had to settle this. The fact of the matter is, Nakarkos, you and I have unfinished business. And I'm finishing it right here and now. <laughs> Hey, Squidward! Earth is closed for today! So I'm gonna have to ask you to go back to wherever it is you came from, which in this case is hell! What? That was a block. Bullshit. Well, this is going fabulously already. Alright, so the name of the game is do as much damage as possible. As you may have noticed, Lyle's uh, borrowing the Valstrax armor and weapon from Katodi. And he's got good old Meowk and Luther by his side, just like old times. Let's start things off with a Palico rally. And I've taught Meowk and Luther some new moves, actually. Meowk now knows the uh, Furlask of Healing move. And Luther knows the burrowing blow move. So they might mix things up by using a couple new moves here and there, and that'll be interesting. But for now, let's just beat the shit out of this Elder Dragon. And oof, I've been gooped and blooped and smacked into a ball of bones. Good thing I've got... Uh, What's that skill called again? Ugh. Hit again. I forget the name of the skill because I'm too busy getting my ass kicked. Uh, Non-stick fur. That is a cool glow effect on the Valstrax armor, I will admit. Um, but yeah. If I happen to get boned again, uh, I'll break out of it real fast because of this skill. Which is always nice. Oh, and there's the Furlask of Healing, Christ Almighty, these guys just don't stop. With the attacking constantly and knocking me on my furry ass. If I can just break the tentacles, maybe we can expose his true face. And I've been blued again. <laughs> I'm afraid I just blew myself. So don't roll or else I'll be boned. Unless I roll in the water, but I don't see any water nearby, so just forget it. Just focus on smacking that giant octopus thing. Ow. So much smacking, but that's one tentacle down and one to go. What I should have done was uh, spread my lovin' between the two tentacles evenly instead of focusing on just one at a time. Because if you take too long to destroy the other tentacle, the first one will come back. Oh, thank you for that demon horn, Luther. Maybe I, maybe I can destroy this other tentacle before the other one returns. That'd be nice. 
I don't like the look he's giving me. Yep, that's a charge, all right. And yeah. Ugh, I knew that was coming, but I couldn't stop it. Oh, that's a flinch, but it's not broken. Yeah, he is so quick with those tentacle slaps. It's a little ridiculous. If you can't anticipate it, you either block or you're getting hit. There's no time to really dodge it. But he sure sets up, or he, he sure, uh... I was going to say something. Really? I wasn't even in the bones. That's bullshit. He sure fucking telegraphs that charge, is what I was trying to say. Couldn't think of the word. Telegraphs. Oh, I thought he was doing it. Now he's doing it. I thought he was doing the tentacle slam before, then he did it. Must break. I think I did it. I think I broke the tentacle. Yep, I sure did. Now we gotta find that weak spot. Here it is. I said, here it is. The nice, juicy, soft bits that we aren't bouncing off of. That's what'll really hurt him. I don't know if we're going to have a chance to really use uh, Wrath of Meow. There's just too much going on to really make effective use of that, and it's better to save my support meter for, like, healing and stuff that I might need. Because this Elder Dragon does not mess around. I might have been scared that I couldn't uh, fully kill it before, but not now. I believe in the power of Lyle. He's come a long way since back then. And if I can't reach you with my other weapons, I'll just fucking boomerang you. Or get bone blasted into the next fucking city. <sighs> with the fucking... This guy, and he's fucking swimming away. We don't have any ballista ammo. Maybe we should pick some up. Oh, never mind. He's back on shore. Or at least his tentacles are. Here's what I'll do. I'll smack one tentacle till it flinches, then smack the other one till it flinches, and then break them both. Thank you for that for lask of healing, Meowk. I'm glad I gave it to you. Jesus, the whole screen went blue. It was like Windows 95 errors all over again. Come on, stop wasting time getting up so slowly. Stop swimming, you damn coward. Come back and face me. This could very well take the entire 50 minutes. This might be a long episode we're in for. Fucking Dragon Blast, jeez. Didn't think he could do that in his hidden form. I thought he had to be in his true form to use Dragon Blast. Guess I was wrong, and holy fuck, we are taking some damage. Get out of there. Okay. Okay, we got this. Just take a chill pill. As soon as he comes back onto land, we're gonna whack those fucking tentacles some more. Or he'll burrow under the fucking ground like a bitch. Is he going into his true form? 
Are we about to see it? Oh yes, it's time. It's fucking time for the real thing. Nakarkos has revealed his true form. We're having calamari tonight, boys. Oh my god, those augmented tentacles. They are terrifying. We got slime over here. And I walk right into it. Ugh. Yeah, Meowk, you better start healing with that true health hug. Get all the heals you can muster. And normally his face is surrounded with that toxic blue stuff. But I believe sooner or later it'll uh, change into Dragon Blight aura. Which doesn't actually hurt. But it's like a warning that he's going to fire his laser soon. But uh, it leaves his face wide open, which takes major damage if you can smack him in the face. His real face. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to bide our time and attack these tentacles until that face is left vulnerable. I am officially angry. Okay, that's a flinch on that tentacle. I guess we should switch to the other tentacle. Ugh, these hitboxes. What the fuck? Oh, I had my weapon drawn. I was like, why am I not moving? I meant to run and I block instead. Is he... What the fuck? Son of a cheeky... Bitch, he's actually fucking distracting me with one tentacle and hitting me with the other. Can, yeah, can this fucking fire blight fuck off? I rolled like five times. I like how the Valstrax weapon makes little Valstrax noises when you swing it. I don't know what he's doing, but I need a heal. And it ain't coming from Meowk. Okay. Just stay calm. Oof! As soon as I say that, I get my ass blasted. God damn, this guy hits like a fucking freight train. Thank you, Meowk, for doing your job. Spamming those tentacle slabs. That's a flinch, but not a break. Now, if you're going to use the Furlask of Healing, you got to come closer. Yeah, he's like on the other side of the fucking map activating Furlask of Healing. That's it. Stay right next to me when you use that ability so I can, you know, actually get healed. Come on, we got to break one of them. There's one. Oh, and his face is vulnerable. Screw the tentacle. Attack the face. Attack that juicy, vulnerable face. How long has that been uh, unprotected? There's only one attack he can use while his face is uh, being attacked like this, and that's when he slams his hood down on top of you. But as long as we can predict and avoid that... Jesus, and he follows up with the fucking tentacle slam. As long as we can predict and avoid those hood slams, like so, then we'll be fine, and his face will be wide open for the beating. That's where all the good damage is, right in his smug face. Oh, but the aura is back. The aura is back. That hurts. And I fucking rolled, and I get fucking fucked again. Damn it. Taking too much damage. Come on, Meowk, do your job and keep me alive. Since the face has the aura, we'll switch back to the tentacles, and there we go. Son of a bitch, as soon as I break one, the other one respawns. But now his face is vulnerable again, so back to that. What the fuck? 
I guess we knocked him down. So let's attack his weak spot up here. The more hits we can get, the better. I wonder if I can block this. Not quite. I mean, I went flying, but it didn't really do any damage. All right, he's diving back underground. Let's do some healing. We actually have a full meter. How about that? So let's get the Palico Rally in as well. And he's activating his Dragon Aura. But I don't care. That just means his face is vulnerable again. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's firing mini lasers from his tentacles. I wonder if we can uh, break those little, like, face tentacles that he has. Watch out for the lasers! <laughs> Look at the fucking light show under his hood, though. That's pretty cool. Up until he fires that laser, his face is practically begging to be smacked. Did we just knock him down again? Oh my goodness. We are on a roll. Time to do some more damage to that glowy spot on top of his skull head thing. I don't know what you would call it. Who cares what it's called? Just smack it. Oh, that toss does like no damage. Doesn't matter if you're blocking or not. Why did I think it did more damage than that? Ow, I'm boned. Not that it matters, because I can break right out of it, but still. Non-stick fur really helps against this guy, trust me. Alright, he's got the aura. Back to fighting the tentacles. Oh, it's a sweep. Fuck you, I didn't know it was a sweep. There's no fucking build-up to the fact that it's a sweep. I just thought it was a slam. Is he sweeping again? I don't know. It just looks like a slam to me. Slam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Get on the floor, let's jam. Ow. Thank you, meow. That's a flinch, but not a break. So switch to the other tentacle. Yeah, meow. Bring the flask of healing closer to me, please. Thank you. It doesn't take effect unless you stand next to me with it. Oh boy. The whole arena's glowing now. And he's still got that blue aura around his face. All right, that's a flinch on that tentacle. Good, let's see if we can finish the tentacles off. But keep an eye on that face in case it becomes vulnerable again. The key is to keep smacking his softest parts. Where's my horn now? Has anyone seen my horn? Oh boy. Oh, that is dangerous. Why did I deselect the whatever? Is that the uh, dragon aura around his face again? I think it is. Back to the face. Ah, I was aiming the wrong way when I did that feline fury combo. Oh, we hit the crap out of his face. Oh, and we broke his face tentacles. As long as I block that hood smash. He's got nothing on me. 
That's why I can't see what the fuck I'm doing. I'm not auto-targeting his face. Keep smacking that face. Block the hood slams. This is where all the damage is. Right in that horrifying, gaping maw. Oh, I wasn't able to dodge or block in time. He is pissed. I think we're doing quite a bit of damage hitting that face of his. <laughs> oh yeah, we're definitely doing some major damage. As Phil Swift would say, that's a lot of damage. Let's do even more damage, shall we? Just once I'd like to be in feline fury mode up here. So I could just keep wailing on this thing. Oh, I believe we broke his back. We're breaking everything. Oh, the aura's back. He's not stupid. He knows when that aura's not there, he's a sitting duck. I gotta say, Squidward in this game, he's a much more formidable opponent than either Mr. Krabs or Spongebob. <laughs> in case you don't know, Spongebob is a nickname for Royal Ludroth and Mr. Krabs is a nickname for Daimyo Arbitar. Neither of them can really compare to Squidward here. <laughs> but it doesn't matter how tough you are, Mr. Squidward. You're still going down. I'll smack your tentacles until your face is available. And then I'll smack your face until you're dead. <laughs> it's a tedious process, but I'm sure we're doing a good amount of damage. Nailing his weak spots as much as possible. Look at that friggin' Uragon skull. How did I get boned? I didn't even notice it happen. I'm like, shut up. Smack them out of his roar. Still has the aura. I guess that's what boned me. Yep. The slightest hit, if you've got that blue on you, just instantly bones you. That's one broken tentacle. Let's see if we can break the other tentacle. Oh, fuck you! A fucking sweeping beam of blue mucus in my face. Where the fuck is the tentacle? I can't see the goddamn tentacle. Oh, now they're both back. We're never gonna break them both. Is that the uh, dragon aura around his face? Yes, it is. Just dodge those beams of death. And now we can start wailing on his face again. <laughs> God damn, Tentacle, get out of my way. I got a bigger target now. Look at that beautiful face. Look at that hideous gaping maw. Oh, I got nailed with that hood slam. Big deal. A few hood slams builds character. While he's roaring, I'ma just heal. Not sure what the fuck just hit me, or where the fuck I am right now. So I'ma just feline fury him, fuck it. If I don't know where I am, you won't know where I am. 
maybe faulty logic, but hey. Oh. Oh! I thought he was just standing still, but he was doing that. Well, that is our very first acorn right there, that's for sure. Oh, boy. Let's hope he doesn't go for another one. Balico rally to whoever's left alive out there. Okay. But his face is still unprotected. That's because he's going for another laser. Jesus. What is this? G rank? Two lasers in a row? One more fuck up like that, and we're gonna actually cart. God damn. Quickly heal, and this time watch what he's doing, please. He's got an aura, so it doesn't fucking matter. I'm not going anywhere near his face. Ugh, damn you. Wait, is the aura gone already? Yes, it is. What are you fucking doing, moron? Move! I hate not being able to tell if I got my weapon sheathed or not. The damn cats are so small I can't see. Nice try with that hood slam, pal. You're gonna have to do better than that. That time you actually did better. You hit me. Good for you. Got me again. Oh, but it was a it was a tit for tat. I knocked him down too. Alright, let's hit that top spot. Just once I wish I could have Feline Fury active while I'm up here. Just wail on it, but oh well. Ooh, and there it is, the final blow that kills Nakarkos. We did it, boys. We killed Squidward as a cat. Long live Lyle, the ultimate prowler. <laughs> that was pretty fucking cool. Let me just go into your maw and carve up as much as I like. <laughs> Ooh, including a soul orb. Nice. Oh, that wasn't too bad. We actually killed him in half the time. I thought this would be a long, drawn-out battle, but we were doing more damage than I thought, I guess. But he did some damage to us, too. Acorned us twice with those frickin' hyper beams. Oh, look at this. You know, I could actually live in here. It's nice and cozy. <laughs> a nice little house made of a dead Nakarkos for our furry little heroes. <laughs> Look, even Lyle's laying down like, you know, this would make a nice summer home. <laughs> Beautiful. Now that's what this series is all about. Taking down giant fucking elder dragons as a cute little cat. And now I can officially say that Nakarkos is done. <laughs> Not repelled, truly slain. We're uh, doing well in our ultimate adventures so far. I do hope those of you out there watching will stay tuned and see what Lyle can slay next. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.